Bonedigion a Bonedigesai. Croeso i'r pumed a'r higain Gwobrair Academy Brydeinig yng Nghymru. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 25th British Academy Cymru Awards. From south to North Wales, from the east to the west, in unity lies strength. Since winning our own national television channel, the film and television industry in Wales has developed into a force to be reckoned with. This is due in no small part to the strength of Channel Pedwar Cymru, Key Players, HTV Cymru Wales and BBC Cymru Wales, and over 70 innovative and committed independent production companies based in Wales. Welcome to the heart of Cardiff and to this very special occasion. The Great Hall of the University Union is the setting for the BAFTA Cymru Film and Television Awards. Bonedigion a Bonedigesai, Roch Groiso in Harwinwir Niheno, please welcome our hosts for this evening, Miss Sean Phillips and Stephen Parry. Si the blue nor wobber hono, a rescrivenor, performer, a cavaruidor, amradown, Terry Jones. For years, scriptwriters were reckoned as nothing. In the 1930s, Irvin Thalberg, who was one of the great movie moguls, you know, he described the scriptwriter as a necessary evil. Well, here are four very strong contestants for the title of the best necessary evil in the English language. Bonne de Guion, I'm Betty Nonoki. Being a presenter, my dear friends, has its problems. Can I say to you, and I mean this in the most modest way possible, you are, are you not, at the whim of far less talented people? <laughs> Lots of presenters here this evening, I can tell that. Hugh, goodbye through the back door. <laughs> That's what we're doing, all right? <laughs> Before we start, can I just apologise for Alan's appearance? He looks quite haggard tonight, but he has become a daddy for the second time. And the winner is Michael Sheen. It's a huge honour to get this. It's a huge honour to come from Patelbert and it's a huge honour to be here tonight to celebrate the best of Wales. This is an amazing time. Long may it rain. Mein blessed Cyflwyno. We're pleased to welcome... Please welcome... Please welcome... The wonderful... Roch Groeson. Ladies and gentlemen, please applaud... Hail Stevens! <laughs> And not so that, a post of Audi ceremony will be an academy bradinig and Henry Doy Vila Gindig Quich, a man they are Dewey Sant and Hanel in Prevdinas. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the wonderful St David's Hall in our capital city for the 25th British Academy Cymru Awards. They say you get to present the BAFTA Cymru Awards twice, once on the way up and once on the way down, and it's lovely to be back for a second year. <laughs> 
Now, press them out, Eddie Bummer, either Fleet, Louisiana, a covering I film, a Faledi and Humri, see what you can blue in our Benny Gown in Wetheto. Yes, it's the most star studded event in the calendar. Can you believe it's been 25 years of BAFTA Cymru's Awards? We have quite the birthday party ahead of us. But uh, before we get started, a little bit of housekeeping. Can you get a ceremony going on? A pet There's a lot of awards to get through tonight, ladies and gentlemen. So if you are fortunate enough to win, we ask you politely to keep your acceptance speeches nice and tight. Think of these speeches like England's presence in the Euros this summer. Short <laughs> and just short. Just short. Sorry to mention that. Now, last year, we had a helping hand from the band who started playing the theme tune from the game show, Countdown, if a speech was going on a bit. Uh, gentlemen, what have you got for us this year? I thought you were going to do the full version for a second then. It's brilliant. The final countdown, but as this is no place for politics, that will be the only time you will hear Europe on stage tonight. Now, uh, if you... I know. Now, if you're fortunate enough to win an award, we ask you to make your way up these stairs at the front of the stage to this lectern. After your very brief speech, you'll then make your way off to the left, definitely that way, with a champagne paparazzi, and your new job as presenter of Bake Off will be waiting for you. <laughs> Mae mynd i fod yn noson a hanner. Na'r ceri ni ddechrau, gyrrwch ni weld pawr arbennig oedd cyfrannu'r Cymru i'r byd ffilm a thaledu eleni. Before we get started, let's remind ourselves of just how special Wales' contribution to the world of film and television has been in 2016. From the beginning, then. my dear Watson. Can you verify that? The bride and groom. The bride and groom. Gil. Carity Nate. A husband in Carity. Yes, a year of phenomenal talent. So let's begin. The sooner we start, the sooner we can get to the after party, where it's mandatory this year to have at least one drink for each year of the BAFTA Cymru Awards. <laughs> We begin with the awards for television drama and production design, and to say that we're starting on a high would be an understatement. To present the awards, two stars of the hit sci-fi series Torchwood, which celebrates its 10th birthday this year. Perhaps better known as Yanto and Toshiko, please welcome Hulkreuser Kness, Igareth David Lloyd and Naoko Mori. Good evening. It's a great honour to be here to present the first awards of this evening. If proof were ever needed to show the sheer quality of Welsh drama this year, you don't need to look any further than the three nominations in this category sponsored by Pinewood. Let's take a look. Chidic Pimp Diwrnod. Simon, and I'll... We've got a recon meal up front to you, okay? I'm not with a career at our policy. Can we let us? I'm only playing for truth. 
Bill Kelwith. Hinterland, a gwyll. Don't do it, please, don't. John! That's bloody enough! Don't do it, John, please, please, John! John! Listen to him, do it, go on. And the first BAFTA Cymru Award of the night goes to Hinterland of Wyss. Uh, that, that's a huge, uh, huge thrill. Uh, a very large team of us have been in Aberystwyth for the last three or four years, uh, having the time of our lives in a fantastic county with a fantastic uh, cast and crew uh, and the support of great broadcasters as well. Uh, we'd like to thank uh, uh, Guard Martha Lloyd at S4C and Adrian Davis at BBC Wales for their unrelenting support. It's been uh, terrific. And uh, there's, there's, there's one person I'd like to mention, or we'd like to mention in particular, I'm not sure, that, I don't think he's here tonight, but um, our location manager, uh, Paul Bach, who uh, basically is, uh, is, is something of a legend in Wales. He's amazing, he's, he's just fantastic, he's done us proud, he's, he's worked uh, incredible hours with, his, uh, with Becky, uh, the other part of the um, locations team, and uh, he was 50 about a week ago, and uh, he got engaged about a week ago. So really, this award is for, uh, for Paul. Dech Mario. When we watch something on television or in the cinema, we are transported to another world. It doesn't matter what that world is. It always requires a huge amount of time and the relentless dedication from a production designer and their team. Tonight, we honour the great talent of these incredible artists, sponsored by the Royal Welsh College of Music and Drama. Here are the nominees for production design. Catrin Meredith, Jekyll and Hyde. Well, he killed himself when it all went wrong. This is Dr. Jekyll's laboratory. Is that the new package from Sir Danvers, Gus? Yes, Dr. Jekyll, sir. Three vials of oil of monocaine. Adwell Wynne Jones, Sherlock. When was this? Yesterday morning. The bride's face, how is it described? White as death, mouth like a crimson wound. Tim Dickel at a Madaliad. And the BAFTA Cymru Award goes to Tim Dickel at Amadelia. <laughs> I'm a little bit of shell shocks, to be honest. I'm a little Essex boy that came to Wales and has had a lovely time since he's been here. <laughs> um, I'm sorry if I'm a bit croaky. Um, I've been lucky enough to meet some amazing people here. Ed Thomas gave me my first opportunity to design something here. I felt very lucky. Um, and then I've met all the lovely people from doing the passing. Um, sorry, I'm really, really shell shocks. Uh, but my main team, I'd really like to thank, uh, also came from the Welsh College, is Gitto Humphreys, Laura Tweed, uh, Ali Davies, who was an amazing farmer, <laughs> who just helped me do everything I could possibly do for this film. 
uh, and then thank, thank everyone from the film um, who was Ed and Kate and Gareth Brin and, and Stoddy, Stoddy and of course my lovely partner who puts up with loads of shit, Sean, Sean Jenkins. Thank you very much. Cheers. Bye. Song for Shadow Maori and Isred, Hidden Hair, and Dioch Mariani Gareth and Aoko. My name is Vesley. Next up, three factual categories. And to present these awards, a stage and screen actress currently appearing in the ITV drama Victoria, and whose accolades include the Actress Award at the 2007 British Academy Cymru Awards. Joining her, an actor who knows her very well, with credits including EastEnders, Pobla Cum, Casualty, and Left Me Scared Stiff every Sunday night, thanks to his role in S4C's Tailey. Oh, Grace O'Connessy, please put your hands together for Eve Myers and Bradley Freegard. Well, we are very excited to be here tonight to present this, the 25th anniversary of the awards. The nominations for Director Factual are united by their ability to tell stories in an engaging and captivating manner. And the challenge of bringing these stories to life on screen can only be achieved through the passion and dedication of a talented director. In a category sponsored by Capital Law, let's find out who they are. John Gwynn. Yolo's Brecon Beacons. No one's quite sure of the number of red deer in the Brecon Beacons National Park. But experts reckon this is the only wild red deer herd in the whole of mainland Wales. Vaughan Sivell, Mr Calzaghi. I always remember the first day going to a gym, like a little tiny, skinny little nine-year-old. Actually, it was quite frightening, because I remember walking in and just the smell of the gym and the sweat and um, see big guys, the noise on the bags as the bags were swinging around. And I, there's nervous nervousness. Molly Anna Woods, Swansea Sparkle, a transgender story. Going into work as Rian was like another step up the ladder. But coming out, I felt off oh, over the moon. Absolutely over the moon. The Bata Cymru Award goes to. Vaughan Savell, Mr. Calzaghi. Uh, unfortunately, the winner can't be with us tonight, but we'll make sure this gets to them. Good photography can give a programme its visual signature. And in this category, sponsored by St. David's Hotel and Spa, are three of the finest examples of that craft. Here are the nominees. Alex Jenkins. Patagonia with Hugh Edwards. And what we have today is a taste, a hint of the pioneering spirit of 1885. These are today's rifleros. Luke Pavey, the River Taff with Will Millard. The Taff, the river that made Wales. But somehow, a car has ended up in the river. There's not much left of it now but fallen trees have become jammed against it, causing a blockage. May Williams, Tim Rees Evans, all in the mind. I suppose a period of weeks of suicidal thoughts, probably no, more than, more than weeks, months of suicidal thoughts. But then that got into a period of days of, I must do this. I was uh, looking for ways in which I could buy a gun. And the British Academy Cymru Award goes to Alid Jenkins, Patagonia with Hugh Edwards. I just want to thank everybody in BBC Factual, um, Mark Edwards and um, Tim Green, and Heavy Daphne, Dioghi, Taylor, Bethan, Manon, and Emily. 
Um, and, um, and BAFTA, and everybody voted for me, and thank you, everybody, and what a wonderful thing. Thanks. The nominees in the cat category of factual series show just how varied and inventive the output of factual programming has been this year. Sponsored by Cardiff Wales Airport. This year's nominations range from coastlines to mountains to the birth of British indie music and are all rich in their direction and character. Let's take a look. Coast. We're discovering why we're at our most inventive on the coast. I'm on Anglesey, finding out how the sea inspires us with creative solutions to perennial problems. Yolo's Brecon Beacons. I find that the winter is an interesting time to explore the beacons. It's relatively quiet. The weather conditions also varies a great deal from day to day and between the lowlands and the uplands, making it challenging and rewarding. Music for Misfits, the story of Indy. Throbbing Gristle released this, the second annual report, their first totally homemade album on their own label. To the bemusement of the band, it was met with widespread acclaim and is now regarded as one of the top 40 most influential albums of all time by Rolling Stone magazine. The BAFTA Cymru Award goes to... Music for Misfits, the story indie. of a fantastic team. We had such little amount of time to turn this around. I'm so excited. <laughs> but they were amazing. Matt in graphics, Ben in archive. We just spanned 40 years of indie music and it was the best ever. But also the people behind us, you know, our partners. Paul, this is partly for you as well. Um, but finally, you know what? This is dedicated to misfits everywhere. They make a difference, they change the world, and it's, we make programmes about them and for them. So thank you. Diolch Bafta. Thanks. Thank you very much, Eve A. Bradley. On to two further categories now, entertainment and children's programme. Cyfleid athli for Glenny Plant a Catalonian now. Presenting them, it's a pleasure to introduce the chair of BAFTA Cymru and executive director of production company Tinopolis, who also celebrates 25 years this year, Pembroke Hapis. I gyflwyno'r gwabrau heno'r hwch croes y mawr, give a warm welcome to Angharad Mair. Welcome out here. Nos fydd da bawb, mae'n hyfryd cael bod yma i gyflwyno gwobrau'r categori Enesa. We're spoilt by the three nominations in this year's entertainment programme. Uh, and it's supported by a Sugar Creative, two music-based programmes and a comedy sketch show. Trwy gwaith, mae'r enwebion heno wedi dangos i fod yn feistri yn ei meysydd amrywiol. Dyma nhw. Bryn Terfel Bywyd Trwy Gân. Os hoff eich wybod sut mae di'n meld i an y byw. Dim byd. Nawr te, tra bod ni'n disgwyl i beth ei ddechrau? Beth am unigal cipa chloi ar y safleoedd? Os dim newid yn y res flaen. This is Davis Nantmore, Sylvia Imerch a Peggy Rees Station Road. Mae nhw'n cymryd i llefydd arferol. Dim un o'r tair yma gyda llaw wedi colli cymanfa mewn tair blynedd ar ddeg. Un, dau, tri, go. Le Miserable, y daith i'r llwyfan. Gys i un extra, 
oedd y bar dwytha'n bunt yn lle pedwar. Dysgwch gyfri, mae cyfri hefo cerdorfa yn hanfodol. Ac fawr wobr yn mynd i, the BAFTA Cymru Award goes to... Le Miserable, a daith o'r llwyfa. Wow, o'n i'n mynd i'n sgwyl hwn. Diolch am gefnogaeth Eswyrrec, diolch am gydweithrediad Cynolfan Manilion yn Cymru, yr eirydd, Sian Eirian, Cameron Macintosh, ond diolch mwyaf i'r plant neu'r ieintid ddaeth Gymru rhan yn y prosiect. Mae yna wir dalent yna i'r Cymru yn y dywodol, so iddi nhw yma hwn. Diolch yfawr iawn. Any parents out there will know that engaging with, inspiring and entertaining children is not the easiest of tasks. But the shows nominated in this year's children's programme, including animation category sponsored by Bluestone, demonstrate true expertise in their field. Mewn category mae cystadlu brwd amdano bob tro dyma i chi'r enwebiadau. V. Christian a Joe. Ben William Joe, dwi'n undeg chwechau, dwi'n ystudio celf yn y coleg. Dwi'n credu nid i'n dechrau teimlo mo hanol, pan o'n i'n dechrau sylw i bod merched yn teimlo fel merched, ac o'n nhw'n uniaethu gyda o yna. Fel, pys yw'r rhywun yn dweud bod nhw'n merch, ac o'n i'n byth i'n meddwl am fy hun fel yna. Dad. Oedd e'n y botel, nath o dafri pe mewn i'r môr. Y gemau gwyllt. Dau ddyn wallt, Pomlo. Mae'n cymryd yn tipyn y... Bydd y criw felly i'n beirniadu ei gilydd, a pham o'r hyderus unw, a pham o'r bell mae'n mynd cyn gorfod tynnu ei hunain gweddill y ffordd. And the BAFTA Cymru Award goes to Cyflwynir y Wobr i... Dewch chi'n weld? Dad. Thank you so much. Thanks to everyone who worked on the film. Made it such a fantastic experience. And Harrod, uh, Catrain and myself would like to thank everybody. Special thanks to the young performers in the film who were fantastic. Uh, uh, John William Carter and Sam Norton, two young pros. And special thanks also to two, I'm sure they won't mind me saying, older pros, best, frankly, in our country in their field. Ashley Way, our director, and Briff Rees, who did the music. Thank you very much to everybody. Welcome back. Thank you very much, and thank you very much. We've gathered tonight to celebrate the excellence of Welsh creativity, talent, and expression in film, and it's not just BAFTA Cymru, who have a part to play in this. Ten years ago, saw the launch of Film Cymru Wales and the Iris Festival, which have become an integral part of the industry here in Wales, with both connected to nominated films in this evening's ceremony. To introduce them and announce the winners of the short film and feature TV film categories, a former BAFTA Cymru actress winner who is currently appearing in political drama Bill Kelwith, and an actress who has won great acclaim for her performances in Sky One's comedy drama series Stella, E4's Misfits, Doctor Who, and also plays the lead role in excellent recent drama A Thuvgeth, The Library Suicides, which played to sold out cinemas across Wales. Roth Grosser Caness e Sarah Gregory and Catherine Stewart. <laughs> Ooh. 
Nos waith a bon iddi gion a bon iddi gesau. Mae'n wirio'r eddol hyfryd bod yma gyda chi ar achlysu'r mor arbennig ac i gyfrinor wobr yn y categori hwn. When it comes to making a big impact on screen, size really doesn't matter. The briefest of moments can often give the most lasting impressions. Sponsored by University of South Wales, the nominations for short film are... My Brief Eternity at Awyr Le. I don't remember what happened before. And I won't remember or have any knowledge of what happens afterwards. So I don't fear death in that respect, because it's not going to happen. So this is what I call my brief eternity. Only child. Spoilers. Um, oh, sorry, I think you've got the wrong story. Definitely mine. The sticker? Correct. No, no, I mean, I know it's mine because of the sticker. Uh, Glastonbury, 99. I was at Glastonbury, 99. You were? I really was, yeah. Who did you see on the Friday? Tory. Amos to that. And the BAFTA Cymru Award goes to Cyflwyner Awobr E. My brief eternity at our left. <laughs> something because I get very nervous and drink too much champagne but um Ozzy Rhys Osmond who the film's about was without doubt one of the finest human beings I've ever met uh, a skeptical agnostic a maker of psychogeographies a thinker a teacher a skillful raconteur until the very end this award is for Ozzy With thanks to Hilary, his wife, to Katie, Mahood, Maggie's and University of Wales, Trinity St. David, to Ryan Edelston, Nick Davis, and Like Egg Productions, whose talent and creativity helped to give the film its unique quality. Dilcham Bith Ozzy, thank you, Bafta Cymru. Sponsored by Cardiff and Vale College, this year's film category is recognised as a Special Achievement Award, with an industry jury carefully considering each entry before selecting a recipient. Entries included a documentary about the life of one of history's most successful boxers, a Welsh language thriller with a killer twist, the story of two women trying to pass themselves off as international poets, a Welsh teen black comedy and a period drama adaptation. Let's take a look at the winning film. Mr. Calzaghi. You got the sense that he couldn't go on much longer because there was so much pressure on him not losing. The idea of having one in the loss column was actually destroying him in, in really deep psychological ways. It made me feel that I've got to be a father. I knew that enough is enough. I changed from training and become a father. I didn't want to keep fighting until I couldn't fight no more. I wanted to fight with something left in the tank. I told my dad the next fight's gonna be my last one. the BAFTA Cymru Award goes to Mr. Calzaghi. Now, unfortunately, they can't be here tonight, but we'll make sure this gets to them.
Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of the evening. Diolch yn fawr. And they will make sure the award goes to Kalzaghi. Obviously, you do not steal Joe Kalzaghi's award. Diolch Sara Catrin. Now then, it's time for a very special treat as we welcome our guest artist to the stage. When I'm so now, I'm Berformiad Cerdorol, and he's an artist of Mwyaf Talentog, Agathaw, the Welsh singer-songwriter with Bajan Heritage. At just 20 years of age, her career has already seen her win uh, great acclaim from critics and audiences alike. Fusing soul, folk and jazz, recent highlights have included performances at Womex, Wigstock and Glastonbury. And you might recognise her music from the Six Nations and Visit Wales adverts. Following in the esteemed footsteps of last year's performer, Amy Wodge, with whom she's collaborated, she isn't just a star of the future, she's a leading light in the Welsh music industry today. Performing her single, Shout Out, please welcome Kizzy Crawford.
Yeah, come on down, Kizzy Crawford. Coming up, the first of our BAFTA Special Awards. But before that, one of the most anticipated awards of the night. It's the Actor Award, sponsored by Audi. A mae gyflwyn o'r wobr, mae gwyneb cyfarwydd i ni ym Anghymru, a mae'n wych gweld hi'n creu enw ddi hi hi'n yn yr unol daliaethau. To present it, a Welsh actress uh, who can now mostly be found across the pond, starring in US shows such as Breaking In and the crime series Gotham, the story behind detective James Gordon's rise to prominence in crime-ridden Gotham City in the years before Batman's arrival. Uh, we're delighted that she's back home with us this evening. Please welcome Hochkreis of Kenesi, Erin Richards. Hello. The three nominations for Best Actor delivered performances of great complexity and depth. They brought to life an enigmatic loner who rescues a pair of lovers with a secret, a police detective working against the backdrop of mountainous terrain, isolated farms, and close-knit villages, and a leading member of the Russian Tsar's staff in the campaign against Napoleon. Gadawchini Voynhai, Blas or White the Tree. Aneirin Bernard as Boris Drubetskoy in War and Peace. Oh. Are you hungry? Um, not particularly. Come on then. Mark Lewis Jones as Stanley in an Amadaliad. My name is Gahal and I've been in the game. I'm going to be able to get in and back. Policeman and Gallo. I'm not fit to do this job anymore, sir. Richard Harrington as DCI Tom Matthias in Hinterland, a Gwyth. Lost my way. I've lost perspective. Maybe I didn't have any in the first place. I dragged my personal life into every case that I investigate. Cymru Award for Actor goes to Cyflwynir o Wobr I Mark Lewis Jones for <laughs> the Oh, um, this film started with a, a fantastic script uh, from Ed Talvan and a brilliant part. How could I go wrong? Um, it also came with a fantastic amount of goodwill behind it. And uh, in, in, in Gareth Brin's brilliant hands, I, I think this film is, is a very beautiful piece of work. Um, Tim Dickel and Sean and Ellen Triannon and Richard Stoddart and Kate Crowther and Gareth Davis, all of them came together. I want to pay a special thanks to Anis Eloy and Davan Duibod, who were two fantastic actors to work with and made it a very enjoyable uh, piece of work. Um, I have four boys scattered around the globe, Thomas, Barnaby, Alfie and Jacob. I also have a very beautiful wife who's brought nothing but great into my simple little life. Diolch Mario. On to the next three categories now, and to present them, a former BAFTA Cymru winning all action woman who's just returned from her latest adventure to Peru. Joining her, an actress currently appearing in S4C's Beu Kelwith, but also notable for her part in the hugely popular soap Ronda Ronde, celebrating its 21st anniversary this year. Penrith Hapis Ronda Ronde. Ladies and gentlemen, Lorchgoisa Kenes, please welcome Lori Morgan and Fionn Davis.
Noswathai Chigid, good evening. Sponsored by Gennaro, the three nominees in the next category are all exceptional examples of current affairs programme making. Damar Enwebiada, here are the nominations. Life after April. I found it a lot easier coming in here straight away to sleep, knowing that her badge was still there. Even though having that little bit of hope that she might come back, but knowing in my heart she wasn't, helped me a lot. Like, I could just turn over and look at her bed. Wales this week, saying goodbye to Mum. To see her go from that to a child, not being able to feed herself. There's no joke in her anymore, there's not. She's so drugged up. That was horrible. This, this is the... This is when you say, enough's enough. Abida Bedwar. Ers y drychineb, mae gwirfaddolwyr wedi bod yn dod o'r brif ddinas i drefi fel sacw er mwyn dechrau cyrro'r cerig ar rhobel. Ac mae Jodi'n un o'r rhai sydd i bod yn cynnig cymorth. Ond mae'r dasg i weld yn boenus o araf. And the BAFTA Cymru Award goes to Life After April. I'm absolutely thrilled getting this award and, and thank you ever so much to BAFTA Cymru. Um, it was very much a team effort and I'd like to thank the Week in Week Out team and Jane Morgan, who can't be here tonight, John Rees, cameraman, fantastic camera work, and Phil John, who's perfectly placed editing, Adrian Davis for having support and all the help he gave us, and April's family, who trusted us to let us into their home to tell their story. I'd like to dedicate this award to them tonight. You're here. News items continue to be covered to a consistently high standard here in Wales. Reporting on fundamental aspects of humanity that both divide us and bind us together. This is reflected no more so than by the nominees in this category, sponsored by Working Word. Cerym driniaeth o bynciau amrywiol a thyst yna eithafol, a phob un yn unigryw yn ei darllediadau, ond heno unwn i ddathlu i safon ddi hafal. Ar gyfwng y midwyr, Turcu, y groesfordd rhwng Ewrop a'r dwyrain canol, ci bron i ddwy filiwn sydd wedi ffau rhyfel hyfel yn Syria, yr adwy i fywyd a gobaith newydd. Y gwersylloedd yma ar y ffyn yw cartref miloedd erbyn hyn, ond mae miloedd yn rhagor yn mentrom hellach. And a long wait in Cardiff, I presume. Election Dan. Wales, 2015. Yeah, Bethan, it's going to be a busy night here. They're counting four seats here at the Cardiff Count. Cardiff South and Penarth, Cardiff West, and Cardiff Central and Cardiff North. And those two seats in particular will be keeping a very close eye on. Wales at six, organ donation. According to the latest figures, there are 224 people in Wales on the transplant waiting list. With only a third of us having signed up to the organ donation register, people are dying waiting for a transplant. The BAFTA Cymru Award goes to Argyfwng y Midwyr. Diolch yn fawr iawn i BAFTA Cymru am y wobr, am yr ail flwyddyn yn ôl yn ôl i dîm newyddion naw, y profiad 
o weithiau'r rhaglen draw yn hwrcyn brofiad byth gofiadwy ac mi oedd o'n gydnabyddiaeth hefyd o waith tîm arbennig y criw oedd allan ar leoliad a'r criw i gyd yn ôl yma yng Nghymru. Felly mae'r wobr yma'n gydnabyddiaeth o waith tîm newyddion nawr dros y flwyddyn ddiwetha. Mae'n ormod o bobl i'w henwi ar y tîm, ond da ni dymuno enwi'n golygydd ni sef Sharon Griffith i, i, um, i brydfrydedd hi a'i gweledigaeth hi sy'n gyfrifol am safon y rhaglen yma. And it was that image of Aylan Kurdi, the little boy, swept up on the beach in Turkey that got all the cameras there. And we felt we had to go and bring the story back to a Welsh audience. Uh, one year on, the cameras may have gone, but sadly, the suffering and that story continues. Now, with your now fantastic team, and it's real privilege uh, to pick this up on the whole of the team's behalf for the second year running. Diolch Bafta. Diolch. Live music and agriculture are the themes for this year's Live Outside Broadcast category, sponsored by ELP. Gyda ni nhw yng Nghymru fel gwlad y gan a thraddodiad gref o fywyd Kevin Gwlad, sy'n rhyfedd i'r pynciau mae'r agori yn ein darllediadau byw. Let's take a look. Côr Cymru, y rownd derfynol. Côr heol y march. Manic Street Preachers, live at Cardiff Castle. A shoy. And in dull Yaros and Rai, the Rivell, and Mahin and Rutakte can do here, the Gan and Bethia and Sir David, and in Gadur Marknan all, Tanner Iliadola, a fui via the Marholasconi, either Rivell near Kilk. A bron and Aros, a well by Pau, but in a Dinoni Gerded, a Hindi is a headache bell, a bit of Dorf, and Kevnoki Hiwe did not come by there. And the BAFTA Cymru Award for Live Outside Broadcast goes to Cor Cymru a Rounder Vanol. If I'd known, I'd have bought a lottery ticket. Come in, I'm going to give you a call. Come in, I'm going to give you a call. 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 Moving on now to our next set of awards, starting with editing, a category sponsored by Gorilla. To present them, two gorillas in the house. To present them, two young Welsh actors who have very bright futures ahead of them. Dai actor sy'n rhan o draddodiad parhaus Cymru o gynhyrchu actorion hynod dylentog sydd yma i gyflwyno'r categori yn esaf. He is a graduate of the Royal Welsh College of Music and Drama, and best known as Jake Vickers in the BBC police series Cuffs. And she plays the role of Aretha in Kathleen Moran's Raised by Wolves, which won a prestigious Rose Door uh, for Best Sitcom just last month. Please welcome Jacob Ivan and Alexa Davis. A good editor can turn raw materials into beautifully crafted television, providing a creative rhythm to programmes through their tireless attention to detail. This year, the category is sponsored by Gorilla, and here are the nominees. 
Will Oswald, Doctor Who. 600,000 years into the future. Oh! Many seconds in eternity. The ship is poisonous. Thousand years into the future. Geraint Hugh Reynolds, Swansea Sparkle, a transgender story. Doc Roberts, Tim Reese Evans, all in the mind. It would take several weeks for drug therapy to stabilize Tim's mind. Until then, he would be kept safe. All the meds, they're like manna from heaven, like that first drink of cold tap water after a long run. The Bafta Cymru Award goes to... Maddock Roberts, Tim Lee Seven, all in the mind. Oh, dear Bata, thank you, everybody. Um, I'm old enough to remember the first one, 25 years ago. And uh, that night I had the pleasure of sitting next to uh, a man who uh, means a lot to me to this day, who's not, not uh, been given the recognition he deserves, an editor called Dennis Pratt, who taught me everything I know. Um, this film, I'd like to thank uh, my old friend Paul Thomas for having the good grace to bring uh, the idea to Double Agent. Um, Christine McCauley from BBC Wales, who recognised that this film needed to, uh, to be told in a longer form, uh, with a slower pace and fought to get us the time to do it. Gwen Sheehan Hughes, who produced it beautifully uh, and um, sensitively, uh, as needed to be. Uh, May Williams, uh, you've seen the pictures without him. <laughs> you know, we can't do anything as editors. May's a fantastic director uh, and a good friend. Um, Tim, Tim Reese Evans, I mean, what a thing to do to, uh, to come forward. I mean, Tim didn't have to do it, he could have just decided that he was going to keep it to himself uh, and say nothing about it and get on with his life, but he didn't. He decided that what he'd been through was um, something that he was willing to share and to help others. Uh, and to Tim, a huge thanks uh, from everybody at Double Agent for what you've done. Um, it's Mental Health, uh, World Mental Health Day on October the 10th, um, something that we should all, um, you know, uh, take time to think about. My father, um, who died earlier on this year, worked in mental health all his life. He was um, <clears throat> a teacher and a headmaster, and I was brought up with boys who had mental health problems. And to us, they were just boys, we just played with them, didn't matter. And that's what the film's about. It's about stigma and getting rid of the stigma, because if you don't get rid of the stigma, you won't come forward. So uh, thank you, Tim. Thank you, everyone at Double Age, and thank you, Bafta. <laughs> Great speech. Yeah, lovely. Uh, the next award is for sound, recognising the complex art of precisely manipulating every single effect, from the faintest breath to the loudest explosion. In a category sponsored by AB Acoustics, let's take a look and a listen. Production team, Lady Chatterley's Lover. There you are, there you are. Production team, Mr. Kalzagi. Production team, Sherlock. The Second Afghan War brought honours and promotion to many. But for me, it meant nothing but misfortune and disaster. Uh, 
and the BAFTA Cymru Award goes to Mr. Carl Zaghi. Thank you, everyone. Um, we're very honoured to have worked on that show. In fact, we were honoured to work on all three. So um, <laughs> we had a chance of winning this year, <laughs> which is good. Um, big thank you to Vaughan and Sean and uh, everybody at Western Edge and Jenica Group uh, for giving us uh, the chance to work with uh, Joe. And a uh, big thank you to our family at, uh, at uh, Hartswood yeah. as well for uh, supporting us all these years at Bank Post Production. What would you do? And on an evening of our anniversaries, I'd just like to say it's uh, Bang Post Productions' 10th anniversary this evening. And what a wonderful way to celebrate it. Thank you very much indeed. And to all the team here. Uh, many of you out there started working with us as colleagues, and you are now close friends. And I'd also like to thank our families as well, who supported us all the way through. Thank you very much indeed. Welcome back. Thank you, Bafta. Congratulations. Oh, a lovely kilt. Von of the Gun of Von of the Gesser, I still am in Kavlunyad, our inquesta Nesav. Our next presenter is quite simply Welsh acting royalty, a legend of film, television, radio, and stage. It's an honour to welcome her uh, uh, here as our guest tonight. Econ or be actio akin on Chesorai Muyav Arbenigni. Who better to present the Shan Phillips Award than the inimitable Dame Shan Phillips? I'm truly delighted to be here tonight on the occasion of the 25th anniversary of the British Academy Cymru Awards to present the Sean Phillips Award, which is given to a Welsh man or woman who has made a significant contribution in either a major feature film or a network television programme. This year's award is supported by Ken Picton. And there is no doubt that its recipient more than qualifies for this recognition. A makeup artist described as a genius and an unbelievable talent by no less an actor than Leonardo DiCaprio. Her CV reads, like a hall of fame of Hollywood blockbusters. Titanic, Inception, Ex Machina, The Great Gatsby, Saving Private Ryan, Gangs of New York, 28 Days Later, Django Unchained, Suffragette, The Wolf of Wall Street, the list goes on. A former BAFTA winner for her work on The Aviator, 2016 saw her first Oscar nomination for The Revenant, a film which would go on to win four BAFTAs, three Golden Globes, and three Academy Awards. She has the task of being Leonardo DiCaprio's personal makeup artist, often working with him in their makeup room for up to five hours a day. That must be a really tough job. <laughs> Despite her global success, it's Wales that has remained her home. And she's quick to remind us of her Cardiff roots and the inspiration of her art teacher at Ascol Gavin Gymraeg Glantav. Her name, as you've probably guessed, is Sean Grigg. And here is just a little snapshot of her unrivaled artistry. Do not tell far from me, O oh Lord.
Oh my god, I'm hard to destroy for having offended thee. I detest my sins for having offended thee, O Lord. Detest my sins for having offended thee. Listen to me, Lord. Fuck it. I'll get sausage, egg, and chips. You want sausage and chips, please? Yes, sausage, egg, and chips. I want sausage, egg, and chips. Me too, please. Well, I suppose I better get sausage, egg, and chips too, then. Five sausage, egg, and chips. Drinks? Come in with the mail. 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 He is to open the bag with his right hand and hold the bag out to me at a 45 degree angle so I may reach into the bag without, without touching the paper. Repeat it from the beginning. My initials are on the side. There's a dent in the barrel from when Philip Stack shot at me. You're not gonna fuck with my mind on this one, Doctor. Then blast away, because that's the only way you're ever getting off this island. Andrew, please don't. Is all this made entirely from your own imagination? No. See, you were there all along. And every idea, and every decision. Of course, if anything is not to your liking, I'll change it. It's perfect. Pleased to meet you too. The Prime Minister duly reviewed all the women's testimonies. After careful debate with a number of MPs very sympathetic to the women's cause. It was carried that there was not the evidence to support any change to the suffrage bill. What? Before you accept the award, Sean, there are a few people who couldn't be here tonight, unfortunately, and they wanted to send you these messages of congratulation. Greg. <laughs> Sian Llongyfachiadau Mawr i ti ar dderbyn Tlws Arbennig Sian Phillips. Dwi'n falch iawn dros y thi. 
Sian fe gyrfyn ni'n ôl y mil naw naw chwech ar set y ffilm anhygoel y Titanic. Mi oedd y tŷ eisoes yno ac fe weles ti fenw i ar yr hyser a fe benner fynest ti fod tîm yn ei edrych ar yn ôl i. Ac edrych ar fy nôl i nes ti, gan fy mod i fel bapa blwydd wedi bod yn crio yn y gader bron bob nos am y bythefnos cyntaf, gan fod na y wyrgylch yn llawn tensiwn os wedyn ni ar y set. What happened on the Titanic stays on the Titanic. Sian, mae'r yrfa di wedi mynd o nerthu nerth ac os gwrs fe gest ti dy nomineiddio am Oscar eleni a roedden ni'n gyd yn ymfalchio yn dylwyddiant ti. Ac wrth gwrs ti wedi bod yn gweithio gyda lio ar bob ffilm ers y Titanic a wedi gweithio gyda cyfarwyddwyr arbennig a dwi'n ei ddegeddus iawn o dyrfa di. Ta waith, mwyn hard yn noson, llong gyfachiadau mawr i ti ar teulu Tra ni'n yr fedra i fod yno gyda ti i ddathlu heno, ond tra nesaf fyddi di draw ma yn LA i ni gyd yn erch ymlaen i gael dip bach arall yn y pwll ti o'r i fi. Hwyl am y tro, mwynha'r yn oson, llong gyfachiadau mawr. Ta-da! Hi, I'm Sarah Gavron, the director of Suffragette. I worked with Sian on the film and was so impressed by her work throughout. She had the challenge of creating naturalism and also having to do a number of scenes where women were beaten up in riots with the police. And she created an effect that was so convincing that we all completely believed it. And she was also, beyond that, just such a brilliant team member, always so friendly and smiley and pleasant and lovely to be with. So I couldn't think of anyone who deserves this award more. And I'll never forget the first conversation I had with her when she talked about the script so passionately. And she was, turned out she was in a muddy field in the middle of filming far from the madding crowd, but you wouldn't have known it. So I hope you have a great night. Sorry I can't be there. Thank you, Sean. Sean, congratulations for being chosen as a recipient of the Sean Phillips Award for the 25th British Academy Cymru Awards. This award recognizes the significant contribution by a Welsh person in feature film or television. This is the first time a makeup artist has been recognized at this level, and there's no one more deserving of this award than you. Uh, most recently, your talents transformed me into a mauled hue glass, left for dead in the Canadian wilderness in The Revenant. It has been an incredible experience working with you on so many films over the last 20 years. I cannot think of anyone in the world more deserving of this award. You are truly inspirational, and I hope to work with you for another 20. Congratulations, Sean, and I miss you. From one Sean to another, it gives me great pleasure to formally announce that the recipient of this year's BAFTA Cymru Sean Phillips Award is, of course, Sean Grigg. Thank you very much. My more have read the word of my henna. The only BAFTA Cymru am of right and her goal am I. It's so lovely that BAFTA Cymru have recognised one of the technical crafts in this way. So, on behalf of all of us, thank you. I'd like to thank my friends and family who have put up with the ridiculous hours I work and the important events I have missed by being away on location over the years. Above all, to my amazing husband, Richie, and son, Tal, whose continued love and support allowed me to do the crazy job that I love. Makeup for film, like every department, is a team event. I work with so many wonderful people to get the finished results. Wig makers, dental technicians, contact lenses, prosthetics, not to mention a fabulous team of makeup artists and some wonderful actors and actresses. Uh, I would especially like to thank my UK team and Cathy Blondell, Duncan Jarman, and my mother, who not only is an, an amazing mother, but an amazing makeup artist too. 
and taught me to always strive for perfection. Diolch ichi gyd. Diolch i Sian a Llangfachiadau i Sian. At every award ceremony, we take a moment to reflect on those who we've sadly lost in the last year. Mae eu gwaith caled mewn wahanol feysydd wedi cael effaith ar nifer ohonom, ac mae'n dyled iddyn nhw yn fawr. Whatever their role within film and television, their accomplishments and legacy will leave a lasting impression on those who they leave behind. Here we pay tribute to their influence on our work and our lives. and cool son, nice and cool, you know what I mean? <laughs> Ich habe mich die Frage gestellt, ob ich in der Situation bin, ob ich in der Situation bin, Behind many a successful film or television show is a great leading lady. Here to present the award for Best Actress, sponsored by HMV, an actor and previous Shan Phillips Award winner, who is just as convincing as Owen Glyndŵr in the BBC adaptation of Henry IV, as he is playing Craster the Wilding in HBO's Game of Thrones, complete with 19 wives. Yma heno, heb eu bedwar ar bymtheg graig, please welcome, rwch groeso, cynnes iawn, i Robert Pugh. Shumai Pau. Three powerful performances, each one compelling and original. If anyone deserves one of these awards, it's one of the three superbly talented women that we are about to see. So let's take a look at the nominations. Amanda Meeling as Connie in Casualty. I have switched off ventilators in recess and then it's the right decision. I mean, every senior doctor does or, or will do at some point. You're actually considering this, is that right? No, 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 of course not. 
Catherine Ayres as Angharad Wynne in Bill Kelly. Tom, Councillor Paris. Sorry. This is my mum. Finda voi camera over standby. Right. We money bow be born barred. Ibe. A story voy ani di gualder spell. Amelia. Ni angen chuliorti. Mali Harris as D.I. Mara Dries in Hinterland, a gwyll. And the Welsh BAFTA Camry goes to Mali Harris, Hinterland, a gwyll. <laughs> After Cymru, my Carlach and Webby and Andrea de Denver, my Ennis and Robert Special Young. A huge thank you to BAFTA Cymru, I was just saying in Welsh, uh, that it's a, a huge honour to be nominated, but to win is something extremely special. Um, I'd like to thank uh, specifically the makeup department, uh, Maynard Jones Lewis, and the costume department, Fiona Eleanor, for making me look and feel like the character, which is an actor I think is extremely important to be recognised. Um, I'd also. <laughs> I'd like to thank um, the producers Ed Talvan, Ed Thomas and Nora Ostler, uh, my wonderful, beautiful husband, Matthew, for keeping the family afloat while I've been away, and to our two very spirited children uh, for allowing Mammy to play cops and murderers up a mountain for ten months of the year. Uh, and to my agent Sophie for coming tonight. Uh, I don't always win. Um, uh, and this is dedicated to my uncle Bruce, who I lost um, very recently. He once came to see me at the Royal Shakespeare Company and told me that it's never too late to teach. <laughs> uh, so this is for my Uncle Bruce. Dear <laughs> Hamad. Mali. Now the following categories have once again provided us with some of the most watched and talked about telly of the year. And the programmes nominated tonight highlight the sheer breadth, originality and creativity of the people who continue to make these genres so groundbreaking. To present the awards, one is an actor and special creature performer who has starred in blockbusters like Guardians of the Galaxy, Harry Potter and Batman Begins. And the other has appeared in EastEnders, Cheetah Pimp Doonard, uh, Welsh feature film Black Mountain Poets and hit S4C children's show A Sputty Hospital, although he's most affectionately known as that bloke from the WKD adverts. I'll let you decide which is which. Please welcome Hulk Kroeser Kenesiaun, Richard Ellis as Spencer Wilding. <laughs> Sponsored by University of Wales, Trinity St David, the BAFTA Cymru Award for the longest title and sponsor combination goes to the special and visual effects titles and graphic identity category. Woof! Oh yes. Thank you, Jochamo. I'm here all night. <laughs> with, advanced with, av with advanced technology in film and television, we can create any world we want, but no matter how high-tech the equipment is, it still takes the skill and meticulous attention to detail of real people to create screen magic. The following clips show just a small glimpse of their visual contribution. Uh, Roll VT. Yeah. Production team, Doctor Who, The Magician's Apprentice. Team Sherlock Production Team SFA A Brunnerthoid Blewog
And the BAFTA Cymru Award, award goes to Cyflwynir Awabr E. Doctor Who, The Magician's Apprentice. Thank you very much, BAFTA Cymru. It takes a lot of people from several companies to create some of the imagery that you see on the screen, so I'd like to thank everybody at Milk Visual Effects, at BBC Wales Post Production, at Real SFX, who are up here tonight. Um, thank you, and thank you to Stephen Moffat, and to Pete Bennett, and to Brian Minchin uh, for hiring us all and uh, for making it fun to carry on working on the show. Thank you. Hire us again. Thanks very much. <laughs> the three directors nominated tonight have been singled out for their courage to stay true to their visions, inspire passion in cast and crews, and dare to dream. But of course, their success would be nothing without the unrivaled talent, devilish good looks, and immense skill of the actors they direct. <laughs> In an award sponsored by Champagne Tattinger, the nomination for director fiction are... Lee Haven Jones, Tridic Pimp Dunod. Simon. Philip John, Downton Abbey. Death has due part according to God's holy ordinance. With this ring, I thee wed. With my body, I thee worship. And with all my worldly goods, I thee. Gareth Bryn, Hinterland, a Gwyll. <laughs> the BAFTA Cymru Award goes to Leave having Jones. Wow, Dilfan Vard Iawn. Um, don't need them in disco now, all good ball. Um, Dilfan Vard Bafta, Dilfan Vard Iawn i Boom Cymru, ag i Paul Jones, um, y Cynhyrchydd. Um, diolch yn fawr iawn i Siwan ac i Will am sgwennu cyfres mor arbennig o dda. Diolch i'r actorion, wrth gwrs. <laughs> Without who might be nothing. Uh, um, pe arall? O ie, yeah, mae yna ddoi berson arall. Siwr fod dylni ni'n weud uh, diolch i'r nhw. There are probably two other people I should thank. Um, one is uh, my mother, who is going to kill me because she's not here again. Um, she's going to go nuts. But uh, anyway, and the other one is um, my partner in crime, Adam, um, who, who I moan with quite a bit, and, um, and also who I dream with. So um, this is for you. Stories of real lives are where all documentaries start. And when these true stories are turned into great films, they have the power to engage audiences like nothing else. Mae gan raglenni dogfen y gallu i roi llais i straeon na fyddai'n cael eu hadrodd fel arall. Sponsored by Aberystwyth University, let's take a look at those who made the shortlist. 
Patagonia Eric Jones ac Johan Doyle. Oh, well, Johan Bach, I do it on that day. Indeed. I'm sorry, Laurel. Yeah. I did it from the land of the sea, my head, before I was in the world, I see. Oh, I'm not sure what I'm Yeah, yeah. Swansea Sparkle, a transgender story. It's the first time I've looked at myself with makeup on and been content with it because I've always. Um, Think, oh, maybe I should have done it, so I should have Tim Reese Evans, all in the mind. I wanted out. I was adamant that I should kill myself, that everyone would be better off without me here. I couldn't see any point in my existence. And the BAFTA Cymru Award goes to Tim Rees Evans, All in the Mind. Double Agent Films. Um, I want to thank everybody involved um, in making the film. Director May Williams, editor Madoc Roberts, um, everyone, Leona Cowley, Paul Iswin Thomas, Christina McCauley, um, all our family and friends who went on this journey with us. But the biggest thanks is, of course, to Tim, who was brave enough, enough to tell us his story and um, help others going through similar experiences to himself. <laughs> Uh, uh, um, it feels weird getting uh, an award for a particularly shit time in my life. <laughs> um, but I have to say, the decision to uh, sort of come out um, uh, as somebody who suffers with mental health uh, was something that I'm, I'm very glad I decided to do. The reaction to the, the programme has been, uh, it's been amazing. And uh, thank you to BBC Wales for choosing to uh, show a spotlight on mental health issues. Um, I'm incredibly lucky to have a wonderful husband, uh, a great mum, uh, and, and, and lovely family and friends, and uh, I, I am in a very privileged position. Um, but there are uh, thousands and thousands of people out there who are the disenfranchised, the lonely, the lost, um, and statistically, there should be around a quarter of us here tonight who suffer with mental health issues. Uh, if those of us that can speak out about these things can help those people find their voice, then I hope we can remove the stigma of this illness once and for all. Diolch and if you please. I'm going to ymlaen yn ni at y gwobrau nesaf ac yw cyflwyno dau wyneb adnabyddus. Un sy eisiau ysweryn dydd anni heno greu llais hydolus a llall a ddiddanodd ni greu hiwmor unigryw drwy gyfnod anhygol Cymru yn y Euros eleni. Mae yn un o'r fy hoff gomedywyr i. Sponsored by Ethos and Deloitte, respectively, the awards for writer and presenter now. And to hand them over, our scintillating songstress from earlier on this evening and a football obsessive comedian who seems equally at home on screen as he is on radio. Ian Cantares of Rhee, a one comedian who is one of the best. Please welcome on stage Chrissy, uh, Kizzy Crawford and uh, Ellis James. <laughs> Good evening. Is anybody else desperate to know if Sean Grigg did her own makeup tonight? <laughs> that is all I've been able to think about for about 20 minutes. But anyway, um, BAFTA Cymru. Um, why these awards aren't called the Waftas, I will never know. It is 
such a missed opportunity. But it's lovely to be at such a glamorous event. Everyone looks so great. And then you remember that you're in Cardiff, so we're within spitting distance of the Greggs, which I find <laughs> very, very comforting. But anyway, here are the nominees. Siwan Jones and Will Roberts. Treated pimp do not. And Gwala. Betty Moin. Up over this after problem us. Alain. Betty Moin. Dim. Say mind a bit. Craig Roberts, just Jim. Me and your mum are worried about you. So you want to send me away? It's not normal to be acting the way you are. It's not fucking me, okay? It's him. He's crazy, mummy. He's, mummy, he's threatening to kill me. Jim! Mummy, you have to believe me. It's not me, mum, I swear. It's not me. It's him, he's crazy. He said he'd kill me if I do anything. He said he'd kill you guys. It's not me, I swear, mum. It's not me. Ed Talvan, er a madawiad. I've been in the house of the bond. I don't drink that. I think he's bought him for you. I think he's going to get you. I think he's going to get you. So, the BAFTA Cymru Award goes to Cyflwyner Wabber E. Ed Talvan, you're on my dowia. I'm uh, um, ma massively uh, chuffed and thrilled to win this. Um, my, my grandfather was a writer, and I never considered myself one at all, really. Um, and uh, I'm really, really pleased. Um, I, there's lots of people to thank. It was an absolute passion project from the beginning. Um, I had support from SLC and Film Agency Wales very, very early on, and from Boom as well. Lon Asher Wellen Davis um, played a blinder. She was terrific. Um, and uh, the person who uh, uh, talked me out of despair when I was sat in my underpants saying, this doesn't work, this doesn't work, uh, is my long-suffering wife, Sarah, um, who uh, I love very much. So this is, uh, this is for Sarah and our three sons. My three chyflwyn of downness and in category nesaf. Sy'n ymwebiadau hynod deilog. But before we take a look at the short days, can we hear it from Mr. Hugh Stevens and such a fantastic, sterling job. Yes, <laughs> uh, the, uh, the next award is for uh, Best Presenter. I'm actually technically eligible. I can only imagine there's been some horrendous administrative error, <laughs> which is why I didn't make the short list. But that's fine. I'm being very, very, very gracious about it. <laughs> Sponsored by Deloitte, the nominations for presenter are... Griff Rhys Jones in Griff's Great Britain. Very, very tight bends indeed. And that one... is tight. Well, it would have been better if I could have tail spin around that right hand a bit. It's just too narrow. Right. Yolo Williams in Yolo's Brecon Beacons. It's not every day you get into a staring match with a fox. I've been watching a fox walking along the edge of the stream here. I think it's a dog. It's quite a big fox in really good condition. Got a winter coat and big, big bushy tail. Obviously looking for food. And every now and again, it stopped and it's looked at me. It's looked into my eyes. Obviously knows that I'm here. Will Millard in Hunters of the South Seas. It's the first time I've seen these boys in the sea. And it is something to behold. I've never seen anything like it. The economy of movement, the symmetry in the water, their eyesight. It's like watching underwater ballet. So the BAFTA Cymru Award for presenter goes to... 
Will Millard from the Super South Seas. Oh my goodness me, this is insane. <laughs> I don't really know what to say. I, I got married yesterday in, uh, in Osk. <laughs> so, my, uh, my parents and my wife are here and we were all like throwing beer bottles into bin bags this morning, so this is, this is amazing. Uh, yeah, underwater ballet. The, the, I can't really say the same for myself, to be honest. But um, I'd just, I just like to say thanks really to everybody um, that's helped me over the years. I first moved to Wales eight years ago and I was just back from an expedition and I'd filmed myself a little bit and you know, said a few bits and pieces and I took it into Indus Films and I met Gwen and Sal and I met Steve Robinson for the first time and he took me to one side and he said, look mate, I wouldn't wish being a presenter on my worst enemy. Um, <laughs> and when I started Hunters of the South Seas within the first week, I realized why. I was absolutely terrified and I found myself completely tongue-tied and I didn't know what to say. And he sat me down and he said, look, you just need to try and present the way that you write and it helped clear my mind. So I'm so, so grateful to Steve for everything he's done and also to Jamie, my series producer, who's just been such a good friend and an ally over the years. Um, but most of all, the guys from the South Pacific, I think what I learned very quickly was to be a good presenter. Actually, all you need to do is, is just be a mouthpiece for them and try and get the most that you can out of the people that are in front of you to tell their remarkable stories. So I'm very, very grateful to them. But tonight, I'd like to dedicate this award to my mum and dad and my beautiful wife. I love you very, very much. Thank you. Congratulations, Will. Diolch Kizzy Ailis Hevid. Agi Gloy Henot Vidoni at Wobber Arbenig at Academy Bredenig and Hymri. I'm Gavrania Tagorom, e film Athleti. Now to our final award of the night, the BAFTA Special Award for Outstanding Contribution to Film and Television, supported by Sony. Past winners include Sir Harry Seacombe, Jonathan Price, and Margaret John. But this year, it's a Welsh actor, screenwriter, film director, and one of our best loved comedy heroes. In fact, he is a national treasure. To tell us more about what makes him such a deserving recipient of BAFTA Cymru's highest accolade is a comedian, actor, writer, traveller, presenter, and of course, fellow Monty Python legend. Please put your hands together, Hoch Greisler Cynnes, for the one and only Michael Palin. <laughs> Hello, it's a real pleasure to be here um, in Cardiff and celebrate such fantastic talent. Um, my friend Terry has really come home tonight. He was always very proud of his Welshness, even though John Cleese seemed to think it was the root of all his problems. <laughs> when I first met Terry, he was living in the Welsh quarter of Isha in Surrey. We were both at Oxford University, and Terry's Welshness was evident from the start. He was small, dark, passionate, rugby-playing, smoker. <laughs> I, being an uptight middle-class churchgoer from Sheffield, was immediately drawn to him. <laughs> Life seemed more exciting when Terry was around. In 1964, he and I made our first public appearance in the Oxford Review at the Edinburgh Festival. Our sketch was set in a police station. Morning, super, I said. Morning, wonderful, said Terry, and we never looked back. <laughs> David Frost talent spotted us at that review, and when we left Oxford, we were offered jobs on the Frost Report TV series. I knew by then that Terry wasn't going to be content with just writing and performing, for he was already into making films, using his own 8mm projector and directing a cast of chairs in his parents' back garden in the Welsh part of Isha. He would painstakingly shoot a frame or two before getting me to move the chair so that when it was all put together, it looked as if the chairs were running away from home. For the next few years, we were almost inseparable. 
as we wrote gags and sketches and funny films for Ken Dodd, Ross Conway, Billy Cotton, Marty Feldman, the two Ronnies, and anyone else who was alive and had a comedy show. <laughs> when Monty Python came together in 1969, Terry quickly established himself at the very heart of the group. It was in his and Alison's house in Camberwell that most of our group meetings took place, despite John's concern that he might need a passport to go to South London. When the first series eventually came out, it was Terry who made sure that he recorded and stored the videos of all the programmes in his garage. A very smart move, as the BBC were at that time wiping tapes to make room for storage. It was Terry's love of moving chairs around that made him determined that Python should make their own films. His force of character and tireless workaholism kept us all up to the mark. And the results were Holy Grail and The Life of Brian, which he wrote, appeared in and directed, and which has been repeatedly voted one of the top film comedies of all time. One of Terry's finest creations was from The Meaning of Life. It was a song, Every Sperm is Sacred. <laughs> Shortlisted for a BAFTA, it was beaten on the night by the theme song from an officer and a gentleman, ironically entitled, Up Where We Belong. <laughs> I only wish I had longer to continue with the rest of the Terry Jones story, but I blame him entirely that I don't have time to mention his brilliant children's books, his crusades documentaries, his spot-on political pieces for The Guardian. Terry has been relentlessly prolific, whilst remaining the nicest man and the most wonderful friend. For all the joy and the pleasure and the laughter and the stimulation he's brought to so many people, I can think of no one more worthy of recognition tonight. I didn't expect a kind of Spanish Inquisition. Uh, uh, nobody, um... Expects. Uh, expects. Nobody expects the, um, Spanish, um... Inquisition? Uh, I know, I know. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. In fact, those who do expect... Our chief weapons are... Our chief weapons are, um... Uh, uh, surprise! Surprise! Stop! Stop! Stop there! Stop there! Stop! God who made me God. One thing that must have been the same for us and for the Crusaders in the 11th century is that we were all foreigners unable to speak the local language and trying to get what we needed with just the odd word that someone had taught us the night before. Guru, Ekmet. Ekmet. Oh. Yuzel. Ah, Mihra. Ekmet. Ekmet. Quick, get the sword out. I want to cut his head off. Oh, cut your own head off. Yes, do us all a favour. What? Yapping on all the time. You're lucky you're not next to him. What do you mean? You snore. Oh, I don't. Anyway, you've got bad breath. Well, it's only because you don't brush my teeth. Oh, stop bitching and let's go and have tea. Oh, all right, all right, all right. We'll kill him first and then have tea and biscuits. Yes, or oh, not biscuits. All right, all right, not biscuits, but let's kill him anyway. Right. It's extraordinary to think that the Pharaoh Ramesses III actually stood on this spot and took a shower. And what would happen is his servants would stand on the walls and pour water at me. Thank you, servant. Very good. And then after the shower, um, he'd dry himself on one of these. A nice fluffy towel. These things haven't changed in 3,000 years. Uh, page 56, paragraph D. Um, right. The Earthling will have 10 days to prove that they understand the difference between good and evil. Rape and slaughter. Death and destruction. The cradle of civilization burned to the ground and left in ruins. Well, not really. It was all much more extraordinary than that. This is 
Mo. Just going to send for you. Both of you. My young friend's just lost his home. I see. What a stroke of luck. No, 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 it was dreadful. Oh, you can come and live with me. Uh, no, he's going to live with me, too. No, 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 I've just acquired the latest thing. But come and see. Beyond the Black Mountains, a curse is said to open a pathway to another land, a land where creatures dwell. Finally, monsieur, a waffle-thin mint. Bah. Oh, sir, it's only a tiny little thin one. Now, oh, fuck off, I'm full. Oh, sir. Hmm? It's only a waffle-thin. Well, I couldn't eat another thing. I'm absolutely stuffed. Bugger horse. Just, just one. Oh, just one. I couldn't be happier. The recipient of the 2016 BAFTA Award for his outstanding contribution to film and television is Terry Jones. Um, we'd just like to say thank you for everyone. It's, um, I know it's a great honour for Dad to win this award and just struggles we're having at the moment. It's a bit hard, but we're so proud of you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. to the end of the 25th British Academy Cymru Awards. My wedi bod yn rhaid cael eich cwmni chi yma heno i ddathlu talentau diri a chwarter canrif o'r gwobre. What an evening it's been. Thank you to all our winners and nominees and to our audience. You've looked incredible, uh, turning out in considerable style. Your hard work is the reason this was such an amazing year for Welsh film and television. Your artistry and skill are truly worthy of the Academy's highest honour. My thanks to all of the award presenters, Diolch Mawrawn i Chi Gyd, uh, our guest artist Kizzy Crawford and our brilliant house band. The celebrations continue in the foyer. Leonardo DiCaprio's buying everyone a drink. And to, he's not really. And to get the party started, the band will play us out. And while they do that, I'd like to invite all of tonight's winners to come on stage with their trophies in hand. Facebook, so we can acknowledge the class of 2016. This has been the British Academy Cymru Awards. I've been Hugh Stevens. No star. Mm.